In the jungle, the mighty jungle, there's something you weren't supposed to see. And jungles do hold many mysteries people forget about because they are deadly, humid, and filled with predatory animals. But for the people brave enough to embark on a journey, many treasures await, hidden by time. Deforestation in the Amazon rainforest in Mato Grosso. Now this picture is defeating. Look how sad the barren land looks next to the luscious trees, and it is all our fault. Deforestation in the Amazon rainforest in Mato Grosso is a distressing picture of human impact on one of the world's most biodiverse ecosystems. This vast region is known as the lungs of the earth because it produces a massive amount of oxygen, but we're slowly giving our lungs cancer. It is facing an alarming rate of destruction, threatening not only its rich biodiversity, but also the global climate as a whole. What was once a rich area full of gigantic trees now bears the stubs of the giants that grew for hundreds of years. The consequences of destroying Mato Grosso will be severe and some are even visible today. But we're slowly reaching the point of no return where we won't be able to fix the damage and completely ruin the eco-balance of our planet. Bullet Ant Sitting at big ol' number 10, we have the Bullet Ant. We all know the little black critters that infest our homes if we leave food out. The average garden ant variety, of course. Despite being a nuisance, they very rarely cause any other issues. That is until you meet their cousin, the bullet ant. The bullet ant inhabits the Amazon and is not a discovery that you want to make at all. These insects reach up to an inch in size, and they have a nasty bite to them. It's rumored that their bite is as painful as being shot by a bullet. Hence their names. This is definitely not a rumor that you want to check out. They are a 4 plus on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index for insect bites and stings, literally the highest level. The only saving grace though is that the ants bite won't kill you. The Kodawai people of Papua New Guinea The Kodawai tribe of Papua New Guinea was not discovered until 1974 and is regarded as one of the most violent tribes on the planet. Many people believe that the individuals who lived in this hamlet had no idea that other people were on earth. The tribe's people live in tree dwellings 140 feet above the ground to protect themselves from neighboring tribes who surround their secluded settlement. Despite having little touch with the outside world, many of these people believe that white people are possessed by devils. The tribe has been known to kill people on the spot in order to keep demonic powers out of their villages. The Kodawai are also said to be cannibalistic, and some specialists believe that cannibalism is still practiced in isolated cases every now and then. Mata Mata Turtle No other turtle has the strange and unique appearance of the Mata Mata. It is a freshwater turtle native to the Amazon basin. This prehistoric species resembles a cross between a crocodile, a turtle, and a leaf. The rough carapace is brown or black with serrated edges and a tiny plastron. The flattened triangular head has a stunningly large mouth, little eyes, and a long tubular nose, numerous tubercles, and fleshy flaps. Its head is more extensive than its body and can protrude pretty far. Mata Mata saunter across riverbeds, moderate streams, channels, marshes, and swamps. Because of their superb camouflage's foliage, unwary prey swims right by them without a second thought. Mata Matas feed by sucking up fish into their mouths. It's said that unattractive ladies are frequently referred to as Mata Matas by the locals in that area. An 8 mile long canvas of Ice Age beasts. Images of giant sloths, mastodons, and other extinct animals have been discovered in the Amazon. These images might cover nearly eight miles of rock above three caves in Colombia. An archaeologist at the University of Exeter, Mark Robinson, and some Colombian scientists conducted thorough research on the rocks. They found out that these fantastic drawings were made by the first people to live in western Amazonia. It is more like documentation of how they looked during their existence in the Ice Ages. People who lived in a nearby archaeological site called Serrana La Lindosa may have started painting around 12,600 to 11,800 years ago. The researchers claim that there's already a lot of Ice Age animal rock art in central Brazil. However, the new findings are more detailed and give a better idea of what these now extinct animals look like. Goliath Bird Eater Gulping in at a comfortable number 9 is the Goliath Bird Eater. If you suffer from arachnophobia, then this is definitely not the discovery for you. The Goliath Bird Eater is the biggest spider on earth, weighing up to 6 ounces with legs almost a foot long. This is not a spider that you want to come across by accident. 
Their name gives away their size, but not their dietary habits. Despite the name, these spiders do not usually eat birds. They are big enough to though, and they occasionally do. Perhaps eat is not the right word though. These creepy crawlies do not have any teeth. So as an alternative, they puncture their prey with sharp fangs filled with venom. This venom then liquefies the prey's innards, allowing the spider to slurp up its meal from the inside out. They're completely harmless to humans though, unless of course, you need more material for nightmares. Gut smoothie anyone? The Surma or Suri, Ethiopia Beware of the Surma. This is one of the tribes found in Ethiopia that isn't just dangerous and hostile. They use guns too agonizing rituals, dangerous stick fighting ceremonies, and painful lip plugs define the Suri or Surma tribes who live in the Benchmaji zone of the southern nations, nationalities, and people's regions in Ethiopia. They have somehow got their hands on automatic firearms obtained during the Sudanese civil war which they use to protect their livestock and villages, but they won't hesitate to use it on outsiders too. The Surma are exceptional stick fighters and stick fighting known as Seguin is almost a religion amongst the tribe often used as a rite of passage for young men to duel for women, with the loser occasionally being slain before the conflict is over. Initiation into adulthood for young men is a gory affair held approximately every 25 years where the men are so severely beaten that many end up succumbing to their injuries. Jeweled Caterpillar Scientists estimate that the Amazon basin is home to approximately 2.5 million insect species, just one acre rainforest containing up to 70,000 different insect species. Many of the Amazon's strange and fascinating bug species resemble creatures from the most fantastic science fiction film. The jewel caterpillar appears to be a delicious gummy sweet from Ecuador's Amazon rainforest. This brightly colored creature is rarely seen since it's so small and fast for a caterpillar. Its beautiful glass-like colors conceal that it's actually highly sticky with protective spikes that provide predator defense. It's not poisonous like most other caterpillars. Still, the future moth flees when assaulted while the ant or wasp is coping with a mouthful of sticky muck. Spider decoys. Did you know that some spiders are prop makers? Strange but true. It is one of the most shocking discoveries on the Amazon rainforest. Many scientists have come back from the United States to study this spider. They are curious about how it builds spider-shaped decoys in its web from insect carcasses and jungle trash. The scientists don't know if the decoys are used as lures for prey or as anti-predator defense systems. On the island of Negros in the Philippines, a second decoy spider builds fake spiders that look like the real thing. That spider decoy has legs spread out in all directions from its body, while the Peruvian decoy has proportions that tend to point down. Now here's the thing. The Philippine and Peruvian species make these decoys, but the architecture is different and they are 11,000 miles apart. Titanoboa Slithering in at number 8 is none other than the Titanoboa. Ever watched the movie Anaconda? Thought that was terrifying? Then you can imagine how the discovery of a 2,500 pound and 45 foot long snake shook the world to its core. Fossils outlining its existence were discovered in the Amazon. These remains indicated that this particular reptile had over 250 vertebrae, thus allowing it to be so gigantic. This snake would have made crocodiles look like little fish in the river, and definitely would have been an apex predator both in the water and on land. Working with the fossils, scientists found the snake to have measured about 7 times longer than the current average boa constrictor. If you came across a titanoboa, there was no way you were going to survive. That much we know for sure. Moshko Puro Amazon The Peruvian Amazon is home to several isolated tribes, the most famous being the Moshko Puro. Once thought to be among the last of these communities, also identified as the Cujarino, they can be extremely hostile to outsiders. However, in recent years, some of the tribe's estimated 600 to 800 members have begun to reach out to river travelers and appear at government checkpoints, seeking food or assistance. The Mashko Piro and other Amazonian indigenous tribes are increasingly threatened by illegal logging activities on their territories as well as often fatal conflicts with drug traffickers. By the way, don't ever utter the name Mashko Piro in front of these folks. Mashko means savage in the local dialect and is considered insulting. The preferred phrase is Nomole, which means kin or related. Lanternfly Don't be fooled by the name. This funny looking bug looks more like a moth than a fly. Its giant peanut-shaped head 
doesn't light up. The lanternfly is a member of the Fulgaridae family, and it's unknown why it has such a strange bulbous head. Some entomologists believe it is to deter predators by resembling the head of a lizard or a snake. If that fails, the lanternfly can expand its wings, revealing two enormous circular patterns that resemble the eyes of a jaguar or ocelot. If everything else fails, the lanternfly might resort to more direct measures, such as squirting a foul-smelling substance into its attacker's face. There's also a widespread belief in some communities that if the bug bites someone, which it doesn't, they'll die if they don't have sex within a day. Hmm, makes one wonder just how many Amazonian young men have attempted using that line. A boiling river. Andres Russo, a Peruvian geoscientist, heard about it from his grandfather. He decided to carry out research on the boiling river called Chene Timpishka, meaning boiled with the heat of the sun. In 2011, Rousseau took a trip down the Amazon in the company of his aunt to discover the boiling river. A thermometer showed that the temperature of the water at the time was 187 degrees Fahrenheit. This indicates that touching it will only take a few seconds to inflict a third degree burn. The boiling river is 82 feet wide and 19.6 feet deep, and it runs for 3.8 miles. This level of heat in the water comes from hot water inside the earth, which travels through cracks and gathers up to form a river. It's strange because the river starts out as a cool stream. It heats up, then cools down a little bit at night. According to locals, the Boiling River is a powerful place in the supernatural world. Although researchers say it has something to do with science, which do you think it is? El Mayantu. Superstitious at all? At lucky number 7, we have the Mayantu creature. Need a doctor on hand for an emergency deep in the Amazon? Legend has it that the Mayantu creature is there to help. This legendary creature has had many reported sightings and is adept in the knowledge of healing herbs and plants. A goblin looking creature with a toad like face, this innocuous spirit is one you would be shocked to discover. While scientists dismiss his existence entirely, sightings by people hiking through the Amazon argue otherwise. This creature is well known to sit high in the treetops unless something entices it down to the ground. So perhaps if you're feeling watched whilst moving through the forest, it's just a Mayantu keeping an eye on you. Huli Wigman, Papua New Guinea. The Huli Wigman are a proud tribe from the Huli area in Papua New Guinea's highlands, a proud people. The Huli believe they're derived from the Huli, a master farmer who provided them the abundant fertile land they enjoy today in the Huli territory. Unfortunately, the tribe don't take kindly to women and the Huli women are considered dangerous witches who suck away a Huli man's masculinity. This is why young Huli adolescent males are segregated from their moms and sisters and made to join the Haroli bachelor cult living in seclusion deep in the jungles of Papua New Guinea. After 18 years of ritually purifying themselves and their hair with oils and herbs, the Huli boys present themselves to the village with their full head of hair ready to become a holy wigman. Titi Monkey This monkey was first discovered in 2010 in the southern Brazilian Amazon. It remained unclassified for three additional expeditions and a scholarly article before formally designated as Milton's TT Monkey. The species is named after Milton Tiago de Mayo, a scientist whose work contributed significantly to the development of Brazilian primatology. The TT Monkey stands out with its bright orange tail, but it's pretty difficult to detect in the treetops. Rather than that, it is easy to locate it by its warning vocalizations. The fire-tailed TT monkey makes a concerted effort to maintain a safe distance from neighboring groups while establishing its territory. It is found in Brazil's protected areas and indigenous lands. 2,000-year-old monolith Sitting at number 6 today, we have a 2,000-year-old monolith. The Amazon is home to so much mysterious history that it's not a surprise when new discoveries are made. However, when a particular discovery is hiding in plain sight, that can just be shocking. Deep in the Peruvian section of the Amazon, a 2,000-year-old monolith was discovered. It took a geologist to figure out that it was not of Amazonian origin. How, you may ask? Through the type of stone. Apparently, the stone that makes this particular historical monument is not indigenous to the area that it was found in, implying that it was actually transported to that exact spot by people of its time. The scientists then went in with 3D technology and found ethereal etchings in the stone indicating some sort of worship towards the sun and cats. Where do you think it came from? Nanets Siberia The Nanets, also known as the Samoyed, are a Samoyedic ethnic group 
native to northern Arctic Russia. This group of roughly 10,000 nomads is pretty tough. They transport over 300,000 reindeer on a 683 mile migration around an area one and a half times the size of France and temperatures as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. They're considered the guardians of the extensive reindeer herding, considered to be the last of its kind. The nets travel in trains up to 4.97 miles long on sledges anointed with freshly slain reindeer blood. The Nanets have faced colonial incursions, civil war, revolution, and forced collectivization. Today, their herding lifestyle is under threat once more, and to survive, they need unrestricted access to their pastures and an environment untouched by industrial waste. Prehistoric Peru Monkey Tooth A tooth belonging to the tiniest fossilized monkey ever was just uncovered in the Amazon rainforest. The 18 million year old prehistoric creature was about the size of a hamster. This new monkey species may address a knowledge vacuum about monkey evolution, which invariably includes our own. The find is a single upper molar fossilized tooth, double the size of a pinhead, dug from an exposed riverbed. But even one tooth might reveal a lot. Remember that monkeys likely came to South America 40 million years ago from Africa to understand how important this find is. They developed into approximately 150 species, most of which live in the Amazon. But no one knows how that happened. The fossil record was missing between 13 and 31 million years ago. This new monkey fills that void perfectly. However, more research is required to reveal the origins of South American monkeys. Ancient Tribes The Amazon forest is home to many living things and their various species. What we sometimes forget is that humans are living there as well. About 400 ancient tribes have their settlements in the Amazon rainforest dating back thousands of years ago. The land is green and laced with fresh water to ease their survival. There are a lot of different kinds of wild foods and animals that they can eat. Everything they need to survive is right there in the rainforest. Like their ancestors, they care for the forest by not causing any harm to it. No wonder they hardly care about civilization or the modern world. Most of these indigenous tribes were wiped out during the era of colonization. Because of this, some tribes choose to stay reclusive. Salem in the Amazon? Gasping at number 5, we have an Amazonian witch hunt. We're all familiar with the infamous Salem witch trials during which women, suspected of being witches, were burned at the stake. But would you ever imagine this occurring in the depths of the Amazon? A 73-year-old woman was tied up and burnt to death for the use of witchcraft. In a tribe deep in the Peruvian side of the Amazon, a woman was accused of making her neighbors sick through the use of ancient witchcraft. Talk about creepy times. This village let her body burn for over three days in an effort to hide her murder. This is archaic and barbaric behavior that truly shocked the world. Was she really a witch or were the neighbors affected by an unknown disease? It is bizarre to think that a group of people would choose to handle this situation like this. Civilization anyone? Yes please! Himba Namibia The Himba are semi-nomadic people who dwell in northwest Namibia and southern Angola. When they're immobile, they reside in teepee-shaped shelters made of mud and dung. In tribute to their god, Mukuru, they maintain an ancestral fire burning 24 hours a day. Cattle are used to assess wealth, but goat is a more common portion of their diet. The Himba are famous for their crimson matted braids, which are meticulously produced by combining animal fat, ash, and crushed ochre, a local stone. This natural blend shields their skin from the elements, limiting body hair growth and keeping mosquitoes at bay. One of the most notable Himba characteristics is that women are not permitted to use water for washing. Instead, they continue to smear the ochre paste on their bodies in order to stay clean. Today, the tribe has an estimated 50,000 individuals, and although they are continuously threatened by increasing development, they try their best to continue their traditional way of life. Capybaras if giant tarantulas and terrifying turtles aren't enough to give you nightmares, then will giant rodents? Capybaras are the king-sized counterparts of the furry pests you wouldn't find in a mousetrap. Though they look rather adorable, and many people keep them as pets, they are the world's largest living rodent. They have a solid resemblance to guinea pigs, don't have tails, and have partially webbed feet, which makes sense because they do like to live in the water. This helps with their dry skin that needs moisture constantly. Capybaras are highly gregarious species, and they can be seen in large groups of up to 100 individuals. Even though they are startling animals to come across in nature, you'll not be in any danger because they're more terrified of you than you are of them. The Strange Visitors We found this viral video clip on the internet of some pictures taken by two British tourists while they were visiting the Amazon rainforest. Later that day, they thought it wise to recall memories when they found something shocking. 
It was a fantastic shot of some local children standing in front of the woods. But this is not about the children, but rather what was behind them in plain sight. They spotted a ghostly looking creature that looked like an alien standing close by the trees. That's not all. There was a glimpse of something that looked like a light shining right next to it. This paranormal experience was quite shocking as it was the last thing they expected to find in the Amazon rainforest. Underwater etchings. At a dry number four, we have hidden underwater etchings. It took a severe drought in Brazil for scientists to make a discovery that truly rocked the world. These etchings were discovered by a fisherman when the river levels fell to the lowest ever in modern history. Carved into a rock bed, the etchings were estimated to be over 7,000 years old. Before the water levels rose again, archaeologists were able to take pictures and study the etchings. They depicted faces and snakes, which the archaeologists believe to be another big nod towards the theory of ancient modern civilizations having existed in this area. It was believed that this particular Amazonian basin was uninhabitable around the time these etchings were carved. Evidence proves otherwise. The Awa Amazon The Amazon rainforest of Brazil is perhaps home to some of the greatest number of uncontacted tribes than anywhere in the world. According to the government's Indian Affairs Department, Funai, there are at least 100 isolated groups hiding in the rainforest. Because of disastrous encounters with industrial invasion and destruction of their forest home, the tribes prefer not to be in contact with the outside world. Among the tribes, the most famous is the Awa, perhaps the most threatened tribe on Earth. There are only around 350 members left today, and 100 of them have no contact with the outside world. The Awa speak a Guarani language called Guaja, a Tupi Guarani language. They originally lived in settlements, but soon adopted a nomadic lifestyle to escape European settlers in the 1800s. Hybrid Birds A group of hybrid birds has been discovered by scientists in the Amazon rainforest. The birds are known as golden crown mannequins because of the yellow crown atop their green bodies. They are the first known avian species to have risen from the hybrid offspring of two different living species and then evolved into their own unique creature. For hybridization to occur, the two parent species must be closely related. Independent species that are too genetically diverse from each other may be unable to generate fertile offspring if they mate. Before this discovery, hybridization had never been observed in birds before. The parent species of the golden crown mannequins, snow-capped and opal crown mannequins diverged only 300,000 years ago from their common ancestors. Around 180,000 years ago, they mated and formed a population of hybrids, eventually evolving into a different color crown. Uncontacted Indians of Brazil At a mysterious number three, we have the uncontactables. In the depths of the Amazon are not only weird creatures and archaeological gold mines, there are also tribes of people scattered, who have never had contact with the modern world. Hard to believe, isn't it? People like this are known as uncontactable. This is for good reason. These indigenous people live in tribes, in the forest, and follow a lifestyle of hunter-gatherers. Only due to the lack of medical care and advancement, these people are highly susceptible to getting sick when in contact with someone from the outside world. Unvaccinated and sheltered, their immune systems have not developed to a stage where they can fight off things like the common cold or infections. So, they are left to their own devices, monitored from afar. The Sentinelese and Mans India The inhabitants of North Sentinel Island on the Bay of Bengal are often called the most isolated people in the world. But more than being isolated, they are the deadliest and most dangerous people too. No one really knows what they call themselves. Their language is unknown to outsiders, including the Andaman tribes on surrounding islands to which they're related. The Sentinelese are fiercely secretive and detest outsiders often responding violently to anyone trying to get too close. The Sentinelese population is estimated to be between 50 and 200 individuals, and they live a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, making canoes for fishing and crabbing and hunting small game with bows, arrows, and spears. Sentinel Island is completely off limits to outsiders, but in 2018, an American missionary tried visiting the island on an evangelical mission but never made it out alive. The Purring Monkey Purring its way in at number 2 is the Purring Monkey. A brand new species of monkey was recently discovered in 2014, and it's a real special one. Why you may ask? Well, unlike other monkeys, these little fellas purr just like a cat when they're happy. How bizarre is that? This is extremely uncharacteristic of the ape species. In fact, it is quite rare to come across other species that make any form of noise, like purring, when they're content. 
These special little monkeys can only be found in the Amazonian basin and are currently very vulnerable to threats like deforestation. If their cuteness wasn't enough reason to like them, try cuddling them for some therapeutic downtime. The Mokin or the Sea Gypsies The Mokin or the Sea Gypsies are an Austronesian ethnic group with about 2,000 declining members whose entire existence is centered around living off the sea. Mokin children learn to swim before they can walk and have unique physical characteristics that enable them to dive deeper and longer than most humans. For about 4,000 years, the Mokin have been a stateless, native sea nomadic people in the waters off of Myanmar and Thailand. They are the very last individuals who still consider the ocean to be a suitable setting for a lifetime. The Mokin live only around 3 months on land and spend their whole lives aboard a houseboat called the Kabang, the endangered tribe of the last remaining maritime nomads on earth, and have been so since the Stone Age. Giant Bat Captured Coming in at number 1, we have this gigantic creature. A giant bat was discovered in the depths of the Amazon by some locals. They took a picture with it, and sure enough, it went viral. Look at the size of the beast. Its wingspan and body alone depict something almost out of this world. Locals took a picture next to the animal for size comparison, and it is truly wild. Could you imagine hiking through the jungle to have this fly over you? It really starts to give you Dracula flashbacks. It must be a nightmare to see one of these hanging in the trees, for sure. Most likely carnivorous, this bat probably hunts small rodents and mammals. We would hate to be on its menu. Common Vampires This is one shocking discovery of the Amazon rainforest. While this write-up may appear to be a joke, it is not. The term common vampire refers to bats that prey on the living like their fabled vampire counterparts. These bats are the only mammals known to suck the blood of other living things, making them one of a kind in the animal kingdom. When they go on the hunt, they will most likely feast on the blood of cows, horses, donkeys, or birds. Still, the pathogens discovered on their fangs makes them particularly dangerous. These pathogens are hazardous and can kill humans or animals in days. So, while their bites are generally harmless, the bacteria trapped within them is enough to kill a horse, cow, or human. Drone Footage of the Dalala Karuba Amazon now, the first ever drone footage has emerged capturing some amazing video shots of one of the deadliest tribes of the Amazon, the Dalala Karuba. Like the Awa, the Dalala Karuba is another indigenous tribe of Brazil that numbers hardly more than 250 people. The Dalala Karuba can be found living in the lower Vale do Javari in the western Amazon basin and are some of the last people on earth isolated from modern society. They survive on hunting their own food and live inside large, communal huts known as malocas, which can be seen in the drone footage. In the video, one of the tribe members appears to be carrying a bow and arrow. The footage was released by the Brazilian government, where efforts to establish contact with the tribe in the past did not end very well. Several government employees lost their lives in the process. Very little is known of the tribe, and the government now feels the drone footage is the best way to confirm the existence of such tribes as well as the importance of protecting them. Don't you think that's the right thing to do, or should they be left alone? Tell us what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.